And uh, welcome to your midday sports. We begin with news on cricket. England were 401 for eight at sports time after they were sent into bat by the West Indies. On the opening day of the second test at Trent Bridge, Azari Joseph picked up the wicket of Zach Crawley for a first over duck. The English had a 105 run second wicket stand after that between Ben Duckett and Oli Pope. Pope has so far top scored with 121, his sixth test century, while Duckett made 71. Captain Ben Stokes also made 69. The West Indies were forced into a change just before the toss with off spinner Kevin Sinclair replacing his countryman Gudakesh Moti, who woke up feeling unwell. The West Indies trailed the three match series 1 0 after a crushing innings and 114 run defeat in the opening test at Lord's last week. The next head coach of the Reggae Boys team will have among his objectives the task of keeping the national senior men inside the top 60 in the world after their recent fall in the latest FIFA ranking. The Reggae Boys, who lost all three of their Copa America group stage matches, fell six places to 59th in the world during the latest ranking window between June 20 and July 17. This is the first drop for the Reggae Boys since they fell two places in February. Under the guidance of former coach Hamir Holgrimson, the Reggae Boys had gained two places to 55th in April and another two places in June to be ranked 53rd. Despite the fall in the world ranking, Jamaica remained sixth in CONCACAF, but lost ground on fifth place Costa Rica, who moved up three places to number 49 in the world. World and Copa America champions Argentina remain the number one team in the world, followed by France, but the number three spot is currently occupied by European champions Spain after they jumped five places. Euro finalist England moved up one spot to fourth, while Brazil rounds out the top five, having fell one spot. Olympic-bound Jamaican sprinter Akeem Blake is set to clash with American world champion Noah Lyles over 100 metres at the London Diamond League meet on Saturday. Blake, the 2024 world indoor 60-metre bronze medalist, finished third at the National Senior Championships in June, clocking 9.92 seconds. Another Jamaican 2011 world champion, Johan Blake, will also line up in the event, along with Botswanian star Let's Sail It Tobogo, the British pair of Zarnell Hughes and a new 100-metre champion Louis Hinchcliffe, as well as South Africa's Akani Simbini. A total of nine Jamaicans are slated to compete at the meet. Zandrian Barnes will line up in the men's 400 metres, where he will face top rate Matthew Hudson-Smith. National champion Nikisha Price will compete in the women's equivalent. National record holder Rashawn Clark will go in the men's 400 meter hurdles alongside Brazil's Alison dos Santos and Kyron McMaster of the British Virgin Islands. Two-time World Championship bronze medalist Rochelle Clayton will contest the women's 400 meter hurdles along with compatriots Andrenette Knight and Cheyenne Salmon. And a 10-time national champion Natoya Gould Toppin is down to contest the 800 meters where she will face Britain's Laura Muir. And that's it for your midday sports support. Shamela, it's back to you. Thank you, Spencer. And that's the midday news. I'm Shamela Pullen. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, good afternoon.